Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a fantastic day. Before we get started, hi, my name is Teresa, and I welcome you all to my channel. If you're new here, you like unboxings, you like getting ready with me with some scary ghost stories, even did makeup try on here. I do animal and nature clips. I do Monday Mass Ladies collab. I do Tongue Twister Thursday. I do Fun Fact Friday. I do a walk in history. Sometimes I do uh, giveaways on this channel, and guys, I do more. I do random more than just beauty on this channel. Now, if you're interested in all the content that I just said, then please be considering hitting the subscribe button down here on the bottom. When you hit the subscribe button, there will be a bell. And when you hit the bell, you'll be notified of when I upload my new video. So today, guys, is Happy Mass Monday, ladies and gentlemen, too. Today is a day to relax. Every Monday, I love to relax with a nice, refreshing mask. Um, this one is very moisturizing. Um, it's got vitamin C in it. Um, it just feels so good on my skin. And this is the one that I'm using. It's called Vitamin C from Real Beauty, or Real Beauty Brighten and Glow Facial Sheet Mask. And you leave it on for 20 minutes. And I believe I got this from Johanna. I think I won this um, in one of her giveaways. So I'm quite excited to try it out. So um, it's got pomegranate fruit extract, fig fruit extract, citral, citral, citrus fruit extract. It's hydrating and concentrating, concentrated serum sheet, perfect fit and adherence, eco-friendly and sustainable material. So yes, I, it, it, it smells really, really good, and it's still got some serum in it, so I could just reuse this mask for the rest of the week, or just the serum, just to put all over my body. So anyways, how is everybody's uh, day? How was your weekend? Did you do any fun? Did you go on vacation? Um, did you do something with your family, or just stay home? Hopefully you all had a great weekend. Um... My weekend it was good. My son went to uh, his um, homecoming dance, and you know he's getting older, and he's just a handsome boy, and you know him going to a dance and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's unreal. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what had happened this weekend. Um, I don't have a really I do not have really a lot to do today, but I did um, find some fall edition Would You Rather questions, and I would love to do those with you. There's 10 of them, and if you want to try them out, I'll go ahead and leave them down in the description box, and you can try them out on your channel and see how um, well you do with your answers. Um, it's always fun to see uh, different people answering these uh, questions and everything. So, but I was quite excited to find these, and it is fall time, and and uh, wanted to get into the spirit because fall or fall summer is over. So we're going to be getting ready to go into cooler weather and blah blah blah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Also, guys, remember um, my uh, my 300 subscriber giveaway is ending soon um, this week. So if you haven't seen that video for my 300 subscriber, please go and visit it. Visit that uh, video, watch it, like it, subscribe if you're new here. Um, make sure you're publicly um, where I can see if you're subscribed to me and you don't want to miss out it's a a, a nice uh, giveaway it's not as big as i wanted it to be but um hopefully you guys if whoever's watching this please go to um that video which i'll leave that down in the link too all you gotta do is click on it and go ahead and watch it and enter in for the giveaway you'd be missing out on a good giveaway all right so let's go ahead and get started on these fall edition um, would you rathers so number one would you rather eat pumpkin pie or apple pie 
Now, I love pumpkin pie, and I love um, me some apple pie, but I have to be in a mood for apple pie, so I would definitely say pumpkin pie, but guys, I'm a little unique with it. My pumpkin pie has got to be smothered in whipped cream. <laughs> whipped cream, and that's how you eat a pumpkin pie, but I would choose a pumpkin pie over an apple pie, although apple pies do smell so good when they're baking. Number two, would you rather jump in a pile of leaves or make a, a make or make fall decorations? Um, jumping, <laughs> jumping in a uh, pile of leaves, um, I probably would never get out or get up out of the pile because I'm getting older and it's hard for me to get off the ground. But um, sometimes you gotta let your little child, your inner child, come out. But I'm not gonna go out and jump in a bunch of leaves so I would definitely um, would want to make um, Halloween Halloween fall decorations um, you know I'm not that crafty but when it's cold and you know everything outside and it gives me something to do at home and and they're just beautiful colors I, I just love fall colors it's just so pretty and it makes me feel so happy um, and it you know, it's just everything about fall. So I would make fall decorations. I want to been I've been wanting to make um, wreaths. I know a lot of people here in West Virginia make a lot of uh, holiday wreaths and everything, and I think I might be getting into that. If I do, um, I might um, do a uh, a video with you guys and show you the progress that I am doing with the wreaths. So, all right, moving on. Number three, would you rather go for a hayride or carve some pumpkins? Uh, those are both fun. I like carving pumpkins with my nieces and my kids. Um, it, that is fun. But I would, who, who doesn't want to go on a hayride on a nice cool day and have some apple cider and just, you know, look at all the fall trees with their leaves um, changed colors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just love fall. So, and I like hayrides. Have you guys ever been on a hayride? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but, um, let me know your experiences with it. Um, I know uh, I've been on a couple of hayrides. I went to this place in PA. I don't know if some of you know what it is. But it's called Fright Farm. And we were on a haunted um, hayride. And what you do is you get on this hayride and you go through um, this haunted thing and people jump out at you and everything. It's pretty scary. Um, I haven't been there forever. But it's called Fright Farm. And I rem that was my last hayride, which I might need to make a trip this weekend with my kids. And I know they're older and stuff, but... I mean, you can't go wrong with a hayride. All right, number four. Would you rather drink hot chocolate or drink some apple cider? And um, I absolutely love apple cider. Um, I do like hot chocolate, but hot chocolate is more for wintertime and Christmas time. So I'd rather drink some hot um, apple cider, which it, when it's homemade, it's even better. Not from a jug. It has to be homemade. Um, I just love apple cider. All right, number five. Would you rather um, eat a eat a caramel apple or a candy apple? Um, definitely caramel apples. I like caramel a lot. Um, candy apples, I don't really care for, so it would be the yummy caramel apples. Number six. Would you rather wear a cozy sweater or a comfy hoodie? Um, sweaters, like I said, are more for winter time, so I would definitely wear a comfort a comfortable. Um, hoodie can't go wrong with a hoodie especially when you're out doing activities and stuff you can just put your hood up and put your hands in your little pockets and, and there's nothing like a hoodie during the fall time number seven would you rather have leaves for hair or twigs for legs <laughs> i think i'd rather have uh, leaves for hair because if i had twigs for legs they'd be breaking and I like to walk around to <laughs> see nature, so I'd rather have a bunch of leaves for hair. <laughs> Number eight, would you rather have chicken noodle soup every day or chili every day? And that's an easy one. Chicken noodle soup, I find that to be when you are sick and not feeling well. Um, chicken noodle soup is what good for you, but chili on a cool day 
and of winter, fall time, sometimes in the spring, a good pot of chili is the best thing to go. And in my pot of chili, I let it simmer all day. And um, after it's done, I let it cool down. Then we put um, sour cream on it and some crackers, sometimes some corn chips. And it's just so, so good. And maybe sometimes I'll make some cornbread with it. This thing is driving me crazy on my nose. <laughs> All right. Number nine. Would you rather smell like vanilla or smell like cinnamon? I'd rather smell like uh, vanilla because cinnamon makes me sneeze a lot and I think I'm allergic to it. So I'd rather smell like a warm vanilla or maybe some pumpkin spice. What do you guys think? And number 10, our last one, would you rather wear big warm slippers or thick fuzzy socks? And that's mostly for winter time too, so um, I would like to wear some warm slippers. And then when winter time really hits and it's really, really cold, you wear those fuzzy socks and those soft and those warm cozy slippers together. So I would wear um, some cozy slippers during the fall time. All right, guys, that was my last one. Um, very interesting. I wanted to share those uh, Would You Rathers with you, the fall edition. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know I did. I, I like coming up with uh, different things, and um, I might have to make up my own Would You Rathers because every time I go on there, it's like the same thing, and I'm sure we could come up with something. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I'm going to let this mask marinate a little bit more on my face. And then I will be back and I will give you the review on this mask. I'll see you in a second. Hi, everybody. I am back. So my 20 minutes is up wearing this mask. And it's time to take it off. Which, guys, it is so moisturizing and everything. It just has a lot of serum. And it just feels so good on my face. Um, even though it's kind of chilly outside, it, it just feels so good. And look how shiny it makes my face look. And hopefully it got some good vitamin C. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to put this back into the package. Reuse. Moving everything. All right, so my results on this mask, um, it smells amazing and it feels nice on my face and it is very hydrating and it fits my face. So this mask gets four, five stars from me. So I'd say five stars. So this was a very good mask. Yes, I would definitely buy this mask um, just to try it out again because it just felt so good on my skin. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. But before we go, um, I'm going to be leaving a hashtag in my description. And go ahead and click on that. And once you click on it, a bunch of beautiful, lovely ladies and gentlemen will pop up. And go ahead and watch their um, Face Mask Mondays. Um, we all do a different mask. We all do something different on our channels. And we are all a lot of fun. And it's just so, you know... It makes me happy to watch everybody else's and, you know, and to see what everybody else is doing on their channel. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I hope everybody stays blessed. And I hope everybody stays safe no matter where you are, no matter where you're at. Please stay safe. And I'll be seeing you all in my next video. Thank you for stopping by, and you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.